first expeditions with uh, under two million kilometers of trucks. If you've ever wondered what it's like to take those last few steps, someone on Mount Everest, let's go do it. May 23, 2007. The Seven Summits are the highest peak of the Seven Continents. I had actually climbed uh, a number of the other Seven Summits a couple of times. They were working to have a fly and take it on the peak of the And then hadn't, hadn't done the Seventh, which is probably the most beautiful of the mountains in the Tucker Peak of Australia. It was the last of the Seven Summits. And I've been sort of never been climbing, well, we've seen that the summit before. So we started right down at the coast at the actual ocean. Um, it was frozen, but at sea level, and then walked for three and a half weeks, crossing huge glaciers and mountain ranges that had never been crossed. And just, this was just an amazing experience to be in, in Antarctica and up the I might be in the most remote place on the planet that I've ever been. This is an incredible spot. Just the scale of this place is just enormous. We've been Travelling all day over one base here. If you ever do anything in your life, you've got to check this place out. It's, it's incredible. You can't describe the interior of Antarctica like somewhere else on the planet. It's like it's on a separate planet. So in some ways it is like being on the moon or a different, a different space. When you're there, it is just this kind of like grass and dust. It's just barren windswept. We see the huge scallops and the snow and ice of the big windswept through the thing. We are just, we are not supposed to get here. We are just visitors, we expect. And if the weather turns nasty on us, we're we'll just going to get clean hands. Now just the remoteness, if you have a, like an accident in your tent and you, you know, have the, the stove catches the tent and lights, well, now you're in a, in a net. Survive that for a few days until you know, get a rescue plan to come in and get you. If anything goes wrong, you break something, you're stuck. Uh, and depending on where you are, they may not be able to come in and get you in that location. You just your whole body's getting used to that constant exertion, you're dragging against the sled for 11 hours a day, and you always dread that last section of the day, and your feet are getting tired, and this is a sign to really you know, come through. It's a sign of hurt to know, it's pretty bad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>